I'm Sir Tap Tap, and let's play Minko Mora. Minko. Yes, Minko Mora. This is a strange little game. The, the world of Minko Mora is a strange place, unlike our world, where many unusual creatures roam. One day, a quiet one of these creatures decided that it was ready to explore the mysteries beyond its home. WASD, sit or stand? Sit on bed to end. Okay. It set out to discover what strange things lay in the far reaches. Wait, is that... Oh, I accidentally ended the game. That's, that's not what I was expecting when I, when I said sit on bed to end. Go outside. I guess that's not the. Hmm. Don't be afraid of dying or missing out. Enter or return. Oh, I see. So this is a free little browser game. You can um, pay to support if you want, but it's uh, free. Don't know much about it other than it is about exploring the world at your own pace. And this video game experience is composed of a game you can play in your browser and a manual providing details about the world. You can read the manual first, keep it with you while you play, play first and compare your interpretations with those in it later. Hmm. I think I will look at the manual. Can I walk in this water? I think I will sensually read what is in the manual while we play here. Oop. What are these? These look dangerous. I want to put myself inside them. That's how my brain works. Hmm. They don't seem to kill me, no. It said not to worry about dying, but uh, who knows if that's like... Don't worry about dying because you respawn, or don't worry about dying because- Oh! Oh! I like this. This is a good thing. This is a very good thing. I shall call him Mr. Stampy. Am I overheating or something? Go ahead and sit down. Well, let's go ahead and open that manual in a tab over here. Sorry, I gotta unsit. Oops. Where's the manual? Oh, wait. Never mind. Hold on. Um, oh, let me open the thing. Oh, for Pete's sake. Hold on. I'm opening the manual. No! I thought the itch.io app would let me uh, open the manual while I have it open, but no, it hid that option for some reason. So, here is the manual. Soft Chambers Seal. This official seal is at your video game. Is Soft Chambers Care. Soft Chambers is about tenderizing games. Soft Chambers is for games as tools for facilitating and the giving and receiving of care. Which I guess is why we can't die. Soft Chambers is against empathy games. Soft Chambers is the warm, enveloping space of an alien cave filled with unfamiliar flora. Soft Chambers is in pursuit of warm, cozy games that disdains the cool. Interesting. Um, Soft Chambers is openly valuing the feminine in the face of cultural derision. Soft Chambers is against the notion that positive is always more straightforward and less interesting than the negative. Soft Chambers is building a makeshift little home for itself on the side of a mountain and is content with that. Uh, Soft Chambers is not just about cuteness. Soft Chambers is about exploring warm, pulsing insides. Soft Chambers is taking a nap. Soft Chambers is petting a cat. Soft Chambers is aware that emotion is not apolitical. Soft Chambers is about imagining new ways to relate to one another. Soft Chambers wants you to know wants to know if you like a cup of tea or another blanket. Soft Chambers likes you quite a bit. I like Soft Chambers. Soft Chambers seems to be an interesting thing. For more information, visit softchambers.com. I'm just sort of wandering around while I read this manual. Uh, it's made like an NES manual, like the tiny little flipbook, but as a PDF, we are, we're already here. Uh, useful instructions, navigating the world, interesting relevant facts. 
that ability, blah blah blah. Strange like, I already read that. Important facts about the nameless character. It lives in the desert. It is trying to figure out where it fits in the world. It has no pockets in which to carry things. It cannot die. It is affected by heat and coolness. It is an excellent swimmer. It likes to sit and run around. I can definitely tell it's affected by heat because it was like steaming up a bit there. Arrow keys. Yeah, it's just move, sit, and F. What is F? Oh, F is just full screen. We don't need that. Hello, friends. We're just swimming around, I guess. Um. Use the arrow keys or WASD keys to move your character on the screen. Please note your affected your movement will be affected by a different terrain. Did these things heat us up or something? Can I just sit here? I guess I can't sit in the water. I am burning. I am like, I am crispy, nameless character now. Uh, spacebar to sit. Spacebar will character, allow your character to sit down. It's important to take a break. Let's just take a break right now. You can sit only on dry land. Sitting on the bed located in your side, your home will end the game. Enter, recall home. Press the enter key to remember the way back home. Locations. Oh, there's a little map. Let's see if I can just show this to you here. Locations, home. Uh, let me leave that up for a second longer, actually. Ah, no, don't do that. There. Home is where you begin your adventure. Your home is a quiet, calm place where you can rest and be on your own. When you want to end the game, your home is where you will return. Fire caves. Hot, hot, hot. Things are heating up in the zone. Full of activity and bustle. Fire is a powerful force we can use for all kinds of things. The nameless character can't use fire for much besides warmth, but luckily it won't be burned by it either. If you poke around here, you might find some characters throwing a party. That sounds fun. Let's go to, let's go to that party after we chill out in this library. I think I'm cooled down here. Just having a nice read. Let's just have a read. The Boneyard is the area we just visited. This area is the home of the Tact Hacks. Where did all these little bones come from? Imagine what kind of big creatures left them there. While you're visiting there, you might want to think about the bones and your relation to them. Do bones always have to be frightening? Maybe you can also find them beautiful, calming, or grounding. I must say, I rather like the uh, their mission statement. I'm, I'm not entirely for the being against empathy games, but I mean, not everybody has to make the same things. So I mean, if they're making not empathy games... Oh, that was the lighthouse we just visited, I think. Yes. It's a... Uh, so we visited about half of the areas. There's a rock. Wait. There's turbulent waters. Is what this is. Um, we are about to visit the rock circle. I think the rock circle should be. I guess this is the rock circle. Oh wait, no, this is. I'm not sure if there's a thing here. Or it's just like it's just as advertised. I'm just gonna take a sit. More games need a sit button, so you can just take a sit and be like, yeah, this is nice. I seem to be a little hot. You can sort of poke, look around as you're sitting. All right, we're closer to the windy woods than the fire cave, so we're actually going to go there first. Oh, there's also the mist sanctuary that we missed. We'll go back. Um, the windy woods. Wow, it's really blustery in here. If you need to cool your head a bit, head over to these woods. Look at this sweaty guy. Oh, wait, we were already kind of close to here. Sometimes you can find a breath of fresh air in the strangest places. This area is a good one to visit if you want a new perspective on things. Let's get a new perspective, everyone. Ah, this will cool us off, I guess. Hi, little friends. This guy seems to get heated up by everything. Hello. I'm not sure if I have a new perspective, but uh, that's interesting. Hmm. The hot spring didn't seem to be like an enterable area of the bone here. So I guess fire caves is the only enterable area, if I'm reading this map correctly, that we haven't visited yet. The lighthouse, which we just visited. There's something mysterious about this old structure. Who built it? What is it being used for? Maybe you have some ideas? In the meantime, you'll have to find a way in. There's a special lock on the door that will only open under particular conditions. While you think it through, may not. why not rest a while on the shore by the water? 
There are many more locations in this world and more characters for you to meet. But don't worry if you don't discover them all. You can always come back another time. Hmm. I guess I unlocked the door by being too hot. Or being hot enough, rather. I'm not sure how many more locations. This world seems fairly well defined by that map, but uh, home is right around here somewhere. Oh, yep. I do like their their theme in general, though. You know, don't worry. It's, you know, it's the Bob Ross of game experience. Don't don't worry. You just gotta just do do what you want to. There's no right or wrong. Just play a little game. Maybe paint a little bush here. Do whatever you want. I don't really have the best Bob Ross voice, I'm afraid. It's a fire party. I feel a little sorry for the nameless being. They seem very uncomfortably hot at all times. We cooled down slightly, but then immediately we heated up the moment we left that area. This looks like a fun party, though. Who's this? Can I pet the kitty? Well, no, I can't. Not much interactivity, it seems, but some cute things to see. I'm only halfway through the manual? Seriously? Oh, wow. Oh, it describes all of the characters! Oh, wow. The tac tac are small creatures that are sh very shy. When your character approaches them, they'll fly away. You may be able to gain their confidence if you pay attention to their movement. Remember that trust takes time to develop. The Ok... Okwanok. These mysterious... What a particularly mysterious creature. Nobody knows what it looks like because it stays inside the nook all the time. All it shows are its glowing eyes, but it isn't menacing or sinister, just very shy. Maybe one day we'll decide to leave its home, like you have, and explore the world it lives in. But for now, it's comfortable just to sit and watch. Like you. Oh, what is this? I think this is the Misty Ruins. These plant Katanga, these plants emit waves of heat. Oh, I found the spider friend! Mr. Stampy's. Um His name is Kutnakon. Kutnakon is a friendly creature that is happy to carry others around. After a while though, it gets tired and needs to rest a little. Giving and receiving help can bring us closer together, but Kutnakon knows that it works too hard for someone else. It will exhaust itself and it won't be able to help itself for anyone else in the future. Are you working too hard for another? It's easy for many of us to lose ourselves in giving to those around us. But we have to remember to take stock of our own needs and wants, too. Cyper sits at the edges of the water and skips rocks. Oh, so he wasn't sweating, he was throwing rocks. He is very dedicated to this action, performing it over and over again. What happens when we all focus all our efforts on one type of activity? We may become very practiced at that thing and achieve new levels of skill that others could not imagine. However, our focus might also narrow, to the point we lose sight of other activities we might want to participate in. If you feel you are overly focused on a task, Swiper is a good reminder to step back and reevaluate. You have to be hot enough to enter the thingy. That's simple enough, I think. Uh, if you feel you're... yeah, but an inspiring example of the value of dedication. Um, See, so yeah, there's little descriptions about everything. Here's a hints column. In this game, there are two basic actions, moving and sitting. While you're moving around, remember to sit in restaurants in a while. It's normal to solve our... It's normal to want to solve ours or our friends' problems as fast as possible, but sometimes the best thing to do is simply sit with them. You may even discover that sitting quietly gives you a new perspective or opens up a new path. Getting out in the sun can be nice. You need to cool down. There are lots of ways to do it. Like like taking a swim or seeking out certain characters that might be able to help. Or look for a nice shady spot to rest. While you're there, you won't get any cooler or warmer. Being cool doesn't seem to be very useful in this game, though. Um, I guess I'll just... Oh, wait. If you become lost, remember, you can always hit the enter key. Yeah, we already know that. Let's just sit on the shore for a second here. Sometimes we, we come to situations on our toes, expecting that harm will come to us because of our past experience with situations that seem similar. It's a completely reasonable reaction. But it can also prevent us from taking risks and enjoying ourselves in the moment. Remember the message given to you outside of your home. Don't worry about getting hurt or you losing your way. Try to explore the world at your own pace, and find out where you feel the most comfortable and well. Designed by Johnny Kitaka and Merit Kupas. Art by Johnny Takata. 
code by Johnny Takata. Music by Mary Kupas. Thanks to their playtesters. Oops, I need to sit up. Let me just read the rest of this manual since I... Oh, there's a note section in the manual. That's really cute. So you can plan it out and read along with you. Yeah, since I'm doing the reading thing, I guess I'll just finish this off. Katonga. These plants emit waves of heat. If you sit next to them, you can feel the warmth coming off of them. Oh, those are the things I've been sitting next to. You may find them very pleasant to be around. However, warmth isn't everyone's taste. Sometimes we're faced with options without a clear principle on whether to choose between them. Let's ride the spider again. Um, in those cases, we just have to depend on our own... Depend, tr bleh, trust our own judgment and intuition. Katanga gives us an opportunity to practice listening to our body and feelings. This is tactic. I think we might be able to get close to them if we do something special. Or not. I don't know. Obtora. This large creature likes to spend a lot of time sitting around and thinking. Does it think it's unusual that such a tall, strange creature would be so quiet and gross in thought? Well, Obtora thinks a lot about its stature and strength. Is it getting in the way? Is it taking up too much space in the world? For some of us, these are good questions to think about. But we should also be compassionate in asking them of ourselves. And remember that we might feel too big ourselves. And remember that even if we feel too big sometimes, we have the right to move around and exist in the world. On the other hand, if you're scared of Octora because it's too big, ask yourself why that is. What kinds of ideas do you have bouncing in your head around bigness and smallness, and where do they come from? Palbantizer. These, cre these characters are a very excitable bunch. They spend a lot of time around flames, Oh, those are the party goers. What does fire make you think of? Sometimes fire is destructive, but we can also think of it as creative. In the simplest sense, sometimes old structures need to be burnt down before we can build new things in their place. And we can use fire to make all kinds of things, too. If you need artistic inspiration, why not spend some time around Puttabanzer and see what they can teach you? Um, Curipidilos. These are those things that were blowing on us in the woods. Deep in the windly woods, Curipidilos spends most of his time helping the plants to grow. It's a very generous creature that makes sure everyone is taken care of. If you're feeling overwhelmed or feel like you need a break... Oh, this is the guy. This is the big guy. I didn't even see him before. This is Obtora. Let's just have a sit. Um, but yeah, back to Corib... Coriblos. Uh, if you're feeling overwhelmed, feel like you take, like, take a break, visit the Corblos, and they will be happy to help you recover. Accepting help can be hard. Try to remind yourself that you deserve the care and nurturance you need, and remember that Corblos is happy to help. All you have to do is seek it out. Wanda Wanda. Those are those choppy things in the water. They swim in patterns through the water. Though they look dangerous, they actually don't bite. It's almost like they're dancing together, isn't it? It's said that watching the Wanda Wanda dance will bring you back will bring back luck to any partnership, whether it's a new romance, a collaboration, or a shared quest. Nurek, back and forth, back and forth. Nurek certainly doesn't seem to tire easy, does it? This is the thing in the water that isn't the Wanda Panda. Uh, in fact, it loves water so much it's content to swim around for hours at a time. If you'd like, you can take a swim alongside it. If you swim long enough, it may be hard to remember where you end and where the water starts. But it's okay to lose ourselves from time to time. Uh, sometimes it might be just when we need to give ourselves permission to try something new. This is a very positive game, isn't it? Which is a little strange, given their stance on the positive isn't always better, but I mean, not every game has to be about everything, right? I'm just gonna sit with this friend here. So, this is Mikamora. I love when games have little manuals and like, or like bestiaries or whatever and tell you all about the creatures in the game, so. I really enjoyed reading those. I hope you enjoyed me reading them since that was like half of the video. But yeah, this is very cute.